So right now, early July 2024, which is the best value for money Pokemon Sword and Shield booster box between Battle Styles and Silver Tempest? Let's find out. Welcome back to the chase card guys. So like I said, Silver Tempest and Battle Styles, the two Pokemon booster box sets that we want to look at today from the Sword and Shield era. These two sets are what I'd personally call a mid-tier investment. They're not the strongest sets. They're definitely not the worst sets. They're not too bad. These two sets are not too bad. And today I want to look at the top 10 chase cards from each set, work out the total combined value of those chase cards relative to the purchase price of the booster box, and work out which one of those two booster boxes is the best value for money. If you've seen my other videos, you've seen me do this before. This is how I like to work out the best value for money booster boxes when it comes to my investments. And I also want to delve into the top five chase cards and look at them in detail from each set, put them side by side, see which ones are performing, which ones are the most expensive, and basically which one of these, like I said, is best value for money. Let's just get straight into it. Okay guys, so the number one chase card from Battle Stars, I'm sure you're all very familiar with it, the Tyranitar V Alternate Full Art. Currently this card's selling for $167 raw. These are all US prices as usual. About a month ago, uh, June 10th to June 12th, this card was $190. It's dropped off about $23 in the last month. But that's the number one chase card from uh, Battle Styles. Now how does that compare to the number one chase card from Silver Tempest? Let's have a look. $191. So this one, this one going for slightly more than a Tyranitar. The Lugia V Alternate Full Art, the number one chase card from Silver Tempest. $193. Again, about a month ago, this card was up. These, these cards have sort of dropped off in the last month a little bit. But $228 a month ago, now sitting at $193. So, so far, the number one chase cards from each set, the Silver Tempest is winning. The Silver Tempest number one chase card being worth a little bit more than the Battle Styles chase card. If we look at these in a PSA 10, here's the Tyranitar in a PSA 10. Recent eBay sale, $295, whereas the Lugia, $350. So again, uh, the, the Lugia V, the Silver Tempest number one chase card in a PSA 10, going for slightly more than Battle Styles. So one card in, Silver Tempest is winning, so far as uh, bigger, value, bigger value cards. But it changes a little bit straight away. Number two chase card, let's just... Let's just go one at a time. I don't want to ruin the party. Uh, Rabbit Strike Urshifu VMAX. This is the number two chase card from Battle Styles. Now, at one point, a while back, it might have been, I want to say maybe about a year ago. I might be slightly off on that, but this was the number one chase card from Battle Styles. The Tyranitar has gone way past it now, way past it. But $73 for the number, number two chase card. Uh, and you can see actually over the last three months, this Urshifu has gone from $50 up to $75 and now sitting around $73, $74. So quite a big jump. It's up about, it's up almost 50% in the last three months. So that's the number two chase card from Battle Styles. How does that compare to the number two chase card from Silver Tempest? The, Ray the Rayquaza, the Rayquaza VMAX. This one is $39. Now, again, this has dropped off in the last month, like a few of these cards have. Uh, $52 a month ago, but now $38. So the number two chase card, what did I say that one was? $73 in Battle Styles, and uh, we're at $38 here, so for Silver Tempest. So I guess Battle Styles, so far as the number two chase card, is kicking Silver Tempest's ass. Let's move on to the third most expensive chase card from each set. Another Urshifu. Now, Battle Styles is very Urshifu heavy. Um, we've got the Urshifu VMAX Alternate Art Secret Rare from Battle Styles, the third most expensive card, currently going for $53. Again, three months ago, three months ago, this card was $28, now $53. It's almost doubled in three months. This is what I say about Battle Styles. Not to go on, on too much of a rant, but Battle Styles was. I reckon it was one of the most hated, or let's say underloved uh, sets from the Sword and Shield era. Battle Styles was absolutely printed into oblivion, and nobody wanted Battle Styles. You couldn't give Battle Styles away. But here it is. The top chase cards are performing. Like I say, this third most expensive chase card, up almost 50% in three months. And when the third chase card's $53, that's, that's pretty solid. 
How does that compare to the third most expensive chase card from Silver Tempest? $32 for this Lugia V-Star Rainbow Secret Rare. $32 for the third most expensive card in Silver Tempest. Basically more than $20 cheaper than the third most expensive card from Battle Styles. Wake up guys, pay attention to Battle Styles. Again, it's not it's not an insanely good set. You know, it's not it's not in the top three or anything, but Battle Styles, in my opinion, Battle Styles is it has to be in your top sort of five or six from the Sword and Shield era. Battle Styles is definitely in the top six. A lot of people will say, um, you know, Brilliant Stars or Astral Radiance or Silver Tempest is probably better than Battle Styles. Um, I would say that would be the opinion of many people, especially Brilliant Stars being such an awesome, you know, such a fun set to open. But so far as the numbers goes, the value of the chase cards, Battle Styles is doing all right, and it's doing better than Silver Tempest and you know Brilliant Stars and so on. Uh, I did a video recently on the uh, best performing booster boxes for the last six months from the Sword and Shield era. Uh, go check it out; you'd be surprised how Battle Styles has performed over the last six months. That's just my phone going off while I'm filming. Um, <laughs> should have put it on silent. But you'd be surprised to see how Battle Styles has been performing compared to some of those other sets over the last six months. Um, really good growth. But anyway, moving on. That's the third most expensive card, right? So Battle Styles, third most expensive card is more expensive than the Silver Tempest one. Now we move on to the fourth most expensive card from Battle Styles. This Empoleon V. Now this is... I mean, I'm not going to say I'm blown away by this card. But out of these cards I'm showing you, this is one that I really like from Battle Styles. I'm not big on the Urshifus. Uh, but this is probably one of the better... In my opinion, this is one of my preferred cards from Battle Styles, this Empoleon. It's quite nice. $39. Uh, again, at the start of June, it was $45. It's come off about $5, $6 in the last five, six weeks. About the last five weeks, it's come off $6. It's pretty steady. But, you know, three months ago, this card was $25. It's now $39. So it's done really well over the last three months. And that is the fourth most expensive chase card from Battle Styles. Here's the fourth most expensive card from Silver Tempest, $22. So the Empoleon, 39. The Reggie Drago from Silver Tempest, 22. Now the fourth most expensive chase card from Silver Tempest, this Reggie Drago, it's almost half the price of the Battle Styles fourth most expensive. So Battle Styles, you can see a pattern here, is doing quite well compared to Silver Tempest. Now this video is not to throw shade at Silver Tempest or knock Silver Tempest too much. And these cards are these cards are doing okay. Silver Tempest is not a terrible set. Both of these sets are reasonably reasonably good. Like I said, I think they're both mid-tier sets. Um, but so far, Battle Styles kicking Silver Tempest's ass. Here's the fifth most expensive card from Battle Styles, another Urshifu. This is the Urshifu V alternate art, $18. If we go back three months, it was $12. It's up about 30, 33% in three months. Not a bad card. And here's the fifth most expensive card from Silver Tempest, $18.77. When it comes to the fifth most expensive chase card in each of these sets, they're both pretty much $18. They're both about the same. Um, but And the number one chase card from Silver Tempest, the Lugia, was a little bit more than the Battle Styles number one chase card. So, so far as the biggest chase card in each set, Silver Tempest is winning slightly as a, as a more expensive chase card. Um, but after that, the Battle Styles second, third, fourth most expensive cards are holding up quite well compared to Silver Tempest. Uh, if we look at the Battle Styles booster box here, it's only $136. In three months, it's gone from $112 to $136. So the Battle Styles booster box is climbing. Uh, while it's not insane growth, it is climbing quite well. Uh, and if we look at uh, Silver Tempest here, let me just close off this. So we've got my YouTube in the background there going on. So the Silver Tempest booster box is $162. So that's like $20, $26 more or something, I think $26 more uh, than the Battle Styles booster box. Yet, yet if we look at the top chase cards in each set and we work out the total combined value, uh, I've got the numbers here guys, you know I like to uh, bring receipts. You know I like to bring receipts. So the top, we didn't go through all the top 10 chase cards in detail, just the top 5, they're the most important ones. But I have calculated the value of the top 10 chase cards, the combined value of the top 10 chase cards from each set. And here's what I've got for you guys. The top 10 chase cards in Silver Tempest 
add up to $364, while the top 10 chase cards in Battle Styles add up to $413, $413 compared to Silver Tempest top 10 chase cards, $364. If I give that a percentage basis, like, like the Silver Tempest booster box costs more than the Battle Styles booster box. So the top 10 chase cards for Silver Tempest being $364, as a percentage of the booster box is 224%. That's to say the top 10 chase cards from Silver Tempest, the combined value adds up to 224% of the value of the purchase price of the booster box. I hope you're sticking with me on the numbers here guys, because this is really important. When, when you're investing in Pokemon booster boxes, this is, in my opinion, this is the best way to determine best value for money booster boxes. How big and expensive are the chase cards inside? Because that's what's going to carry the value of the set as an investment. So 224% for Silver Tempest, right? Now, the $413 for Battle Styles, for the top 10 chase cards in Battle Styles, gives the Battle Styles, on a percentage basis, 303%. That means the top 10 chase cards in Battle Styles, the combined value of the top 10 in Battle Styles, adds up to 303% of the purchase price of the booster box. That essentially means you could buy three Battle Styles booster boxes, three Battle Styles booster boxes for the same price as you could go out and buy all 10 chase cards from Battle Styles raw, ungraded. That's pretty good value guys. And the market's seeing this and the market is showing this because Battle Styles has had really good performance growth as a booster box investment just over the last six months. So keep an eye on Battle Styles. Um, if you have overlooked it in the past, it's not too late to jump on it. I think it's a really undervalued set still. And when I put Silver Tempest and Battle Styles side by side, give a completely unbiased opinion, look at the numbers, do the research, Battle Styles is winning. Battle Styles out of these two is a much better investment and much better value for money at this moment in time as of 9th of July 2024. If you're watching this video in six months, like I say, these numbers can change. But right now, July 2024, out of these two sets, Battle Styles, regardless of your opinion, give me your feedback in the comments, guys. Um, you know, comment, give me, give me your reviews, your feedback on how I've done this, but this method really hasn't let me down in the past. I've used this method when it comes to calculating the best value for money booster boxes with Fusion Strike, Lost Origin, Evolving Skies, Chilling Rain, and so on, and all those really top tier sets. Um, but it's interesting to look at these mid-tier sets to see which ones people are overlooking and which ones are undervalued and to add them into your collection if you've got a bit of spare money. Some of those top five booster box sets from Sword and Shield are starting to get pricey. So if you are looking for a cheaper entry point into the investment market, into the booster box market, Battle Styles is one to consider, guys. I think it's going to perform really well in the coming years and it does represent good value for money as it is today. For $136 for a booster box, you can't go wrong. Uh, like I said, it's not an amazing set. It's not going to shoot the lights out, but it is a pretty strong investment. And in my opinion, it's in the top five or six sets to come from Sword and Shield. As much as people threw shade at Battle Styles over the last couple of years has been one of the most lackluster sets, the numbers are proving a lot of people wrong. Let me know what you think in the comments, guys. Thanks for watching the Chase Card, and I'll see you next time uh, for my next video. Take care. Bye.